intuitive d1111 here i hope you all are doing well this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising venus as well as north node i wanted to get in an um an animal card here for you we have scarab beetle spirit so magic works through you number 52 which goes to a seven in numerology so that's all about spirituality so you're coming upon a time that is um key for manifesting what you want and you're also getting help from the divine to do that so that's really beautiful we have the wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom so a lot of you you are very intuitive yourself you're very steadfast with your goals you could have virgo placements um or earth significant earth placements within your chart i really feel like this is telling you that you have all the intuition and the knowledge that you need to create stability for your, yourself in your life or to create new endeavors or to manifest, you know, love, whatever it is that you want to do, it's there. And then exactly starfish spirit at the bottom. So open to infinite possibility. So it's like, don't limit yourself is what I'm getting from this because you have so many opportunities that are coming in for you. Um, and with the 67 here, you know, this goes to a 13 and the 13 goes to a four, which is, um, you know, that emperor energy. It's all about stability. It's all about um, security. So a lot of you guys have... Um, abundance that's coming in whether it's been slowly coming in or not or maybe you just recently took a loss this is telling you to you know be encouraged because there are so many possibilities for you and i really feel that a lot of you you're going to be doing something that you didn't even really expect that you were going to do um so i don't know if it's going to be like a new job or if it's going to be like a new hobby or whatever it is so i think that's really beautiful energy for you uh scorpio Okay, so let's go ahead and see what energy oracle cards want to come through for you, Scorpio. You and your connection, just in general, show us the cards we need to see for Scorpio. What's coming through for Scorpio? Oh my gosh, Scorpio, what's going on? We have the seat here, we have cornucopia, we had envy that wanted to come out. What else is going on with Scorpio and love right now? We have the storm warning. We have, what's going on for Scorpio? Thank God the sun came out. <laughs> I was worried for a minute. I'm like, Scorpio, what's going on? Um, okay, and what else is coming through here? We have ooh, strategy, happy family, and patience. Wow. So, Scorpio. This is some intense energy here. I really feel like you've been having highs and lows lately. I really feel like you've been at a point of questioning um, exactly, you know, what it is that you want to do in your life. I feel like there has also been a lot of, there's been some negativity around you. I really feel like you feel like you have to be careful and secretive with what you're doing because you feel like you can't necessarily trust, you know, whoever it is that you're around. For some of you. There could be um, someone around that is, there could be someone that's hiding money around. I see that with Deceit and Cornucopia. I see here that in the past, maybe someone was lying and deceptive to you. And with the storm warning in reverse, I see that kind of as the tower in reverse. In reverse. It's like, you don't want to go that route again. You want to avoid that. You want to avoid all the hurt that came from any type of lies or betrayals of the past. Um, but your center energy is beautiful because it's like you're moving out of that that gloomy that um you know that that fog whatever fog it was that you were dealing with it's like you're coming out of that energy and you're going to be going back into a very um happy and stable energy i mean some of you could have new additions to a family coming or you could be spending more time with family i feel like you're going to be getting back into your passions and asking yourself you know what it is that you really love and um i feel like you're going to be successful and you're going to make money from you know what it is that you enjoy right so this is really beautiful energy for you i feel that for some of you you could be connecting um with someone who does have heavy leo energy or um 
They could have Aquarius placements or they could have um, earth, heavy earth energy as well. With the patience here, I feel it's a long time coming. I feel like this is a message of hope for you. Um, maybe you, you feel like you kept, you continued to plan things and you feel like they were falling through, be it like in work or career or love or whatever. And I feel like with all of this happy energy, it's like your guides wanting to tell you that it is going to get better, that, you know, you are going to have, you know, this is like the Ten of Cups. So you are going to have that emotional fulfillment. You are going to be able to strategize and come up with ideas. And this is also a reminder to, you know, write down your ideas and really formulate your plans. And, um, and that'll help them to manifest better for you. And also, you know, be careful who you tell your ideas to here with this Envy card because you never know people's true intentions sometimes. Um, but you are definitely supported. I really feel like you have... Um, I feel like you have a very good heart. I feel like there's been a lot of painful things that have happened to you that you didn't deserve, but you came out of them stronger. And um, I really feel like you're you're moving into a beautiful time of abundance. I was just saying in another reading that, you know, cornucopia is like the sun card mixed together with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles to me, because this is you getting the harvest after all of, you know, the work that you planted, be it in love or be it, you know, in career. And it's beautiful because you have the sun card here right after that, like, you know, right, you know, right underneath that. So that's really beautiful energy for you, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and look at the tarot and see, see what's going on there for you in regards to love. So, I've got a favorite coming out, the Lover's card. Some of you could have Gemini in your chart connecting with the Gemini, or this could be in regards to a soul connection. We have the Six, speaking of soul connection, we have the Six of Cups. So, this is someone that, you know, some of you have children with, or you've known from your childhood that you love spending time with. For some of you, either you or your person could be in the public eye. We do have the Six of Wands as well as the Sun. Um, a lot of successful energy here. I feel like, you know, you and your person, you want success in this connection. You want reciprocity here with the Six of Coins. Um, some of you could um, could have received or will receive some type of um, financial blessing or financial gift. Yeah, because we have the Ten of Coins at the bottom here. So this is really beautiful energy. I mean, I feel like... I feel like your person wants it all with you. They want to really, they really want to work on things is what I'm seeing here. But let's go ahead and see what are the blocks in this connection? What are the blocks in the connection for Scorpio right now? So we have the Eight of Swords. Um, Two of Cups reversed, the Queen of Wands reversed. And the nine of coins reverse. Good lord. <laughs> so the blocks in this connection could be that someone someone's stuck in their head, or it could be someone is stuck in a for some of you, not all of you, someone could be stuck in another commitment. Or um another block could be that, you know, maybe you feel like this relationship when it's good, it's good, but when it's bad, it's bad, and you're not on the same page with the Two of Cups in reverse, and with the Queen of Wands in reverse, maybe you feel like you've been dealing with someone that hasn't been consistent with you, um, and maybe they can be in their ego with that Six of Wands card, maybe they're giving to multiple people with the Six of Pentacles, and I think, I feel like maybe someone is not fully single and ready to commit to you, or maybe someone is not feeling good about themselves, or maybe someone maybe you're coming into this cornucopia energy but maybe someone else here is financially struggling and they can't really make it on their own um yeah the blockage is the nine of cups so someone could even be you know smug a little bit selfish here as well so those are the blockages but the overall energy though is that there definitely is love within this connection so let's look at the outcome here Cups, outcome for Scorpio in love. Oh Lord, not the seven, not the seven of swords. Outcome for Scorpio in love. Knight of Cups, two of swords in reverse. Who are you guys messing with? I just, I can't handle it. Oh my God, Lord Jesus. Okay, so 
This is not going to be for all of you. For some of you, they are secretly still talking to someone else or they secretly still have feelings for someone else or they could be hiding the fact that they have emotions for you. Um, for some of you, you could be getting together, having drinks with this person, spending time with this person, but they're still not going to be open to their feelings. Um, so for some of you, I really feel like you will move forward in this connection and work on it or for some of you if you do find out that they're connecting with somebody else then of course what you're going to do is you're going to move on and you're going to continue to uh, work and focus on yourself someone here could um, travel for work as well with the chariot and the eight of coins um, but there definitely is love here within this connection but i do feel like someone has a decision to make that they've been avoiding making here with the two of coins Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some love messages for you, Scorpio, and see what your person wants to say to you. Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading, as you already know, so, um, you know, it's not a personal reading, just take what, what resonates. But overall, I feel that you're going to be fine regardless of what's happening just in love. Because I feel like in life, you have this beautiful cornucopia and sun energy that's coming that's coming in and here for you. So that is beautiful, Scorpio. Okay, so what does Scorpio's love interest want to tell them? What does Scorpio's love interest want to tell them? We have... I'm a better person because of you. I love that. Let's see. What does your person want to tell you, Scorpio? We have, I feel damaged like I just can't do this. Your words linger in my mind. My mind and heart always comes back to you. And I'm reminded of you constantly. Okay, let's get a few more messages here for you from your person how they're feeling for you let's spice it up here with the masculine madness stack how your person is feeling for you scorpio we have only you can soothe me so they find your presence calming you definitely do help them to transform and become a better person so that's beautiful we have confidence the more confident you are the more i want you so they love it when you stand in your in your power. They could also love lingerie that you wear if that's something that you have worn for them or, you know, take it how it resonates in your relationship. We have tied up. Soon we will have the freedom to do whatever we want and get tied up in fun and sexy ways. So they are definitely thinking about you in a passionate way, Scorpio. Let's see. How else is your person feeling for you, Scorpio? We have... Um, doubt i don't understand what you see in me <laughs> scorpio your person they're like oh my god scorpio is so good looking like why are they even messing with me scorpio i'm telling you you have it all together i love it okay so thank you so much for spending time with me if you did enjoy the video please like and subscribe for me that'll help more people to see the video and help my channel to grow and if no one has told you yet today i love you you're amazing and i'll see you next time bye